This is Matt and this is a short video on how to update PHP version in WordPress. So this is my main Matt Crawford site at mattbusiness.com. So in general, you can't change the WordPress uh, PHP version within WordPress itself. So uh, PHP is a separate thing. It's normally handled by your server. So in my case, my uh, server, my hosting is uh, Cloudways. So I'm right here. I'll show you how to do it through Cloudways. The process is going to be more or less the same depending on what hosting you have, whether you have SiteGround, uh, whether you're using Cloudflare or Cloudways or anything else. It's going to be more or less the same. So I'm right here in my Cloudways dashboard. Uh, I'm just in a monitoring section right now. So in general on Cloudways, I'll show you. And like I say, it's going to be more or less the same. There's going to be, you're going to have settings in the back end, whether you do it through, through the cPanel, uh, if you're using uh, SiteGround or something else. Uh, but I'll just show you through Cloudways. Uh, just know that if you don't have Cloudways, the principles are more or less the same. So we're going to come down to settings and packages right here. And then we need to come across two. So in the basic settings there for settings and packages, and we need to come across to packages. And you'll see right at the top here, we've got PHP. So uh, upgraded version can later be downgraded. So this is CloudRage just telling us that essentially, uh, if you get this wrong for whatever reason, you have to be careful with PHP. There's There are issues uh, with uh, WordPress, the main WordPress programming language is in fact, PHP. So all of the pages are programmed with PHP. And then there's uh, there's HTML and CSS and sometimes JavaScript on top of that. Uh, but yeah, in general, you need to be careful because uh, the WordPress plugins are programmed in PHP. And sometimes you might get older plugins that haven't uh, that haven't been upgraded to a higher level of PHP. So if you start messing around and going up too high level with your PHP uh, versions, uh, there might be compatibility issues essentially with the plugins. Uh, that's a simple way of putting it, but uh, there you go. So uh, this is just Cloudways warning us that we can in fact downgrade uh, later on, you know, uh, if we need to. So right now you can see that my PHP version is 8.1. So that's quite high. I feel like that's quite recent. We're going to see right now. So you can click this pen icon, the kind of universal edit button. And what we'll get is a drop down here. And in fact, I've got 8.1. There's actually two more, uh, more recent versions. So you can see that I can downgrade to 7.1 currently. I can downgrade to 8.1. I'm currently on, uh, sorry, 8.0. I'm currently on 8.1. And then I have an option for an 8.2 or an 8.3. So. What you're going to do if you are going to upgrade, let's say we're going up to 8.3. So we click 8.3 and then we just click save here. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm happy with 8.1, uh, but you might be on 7.4. You might be on something else lower. Uh, you might want to come up to 8.0 or um, 8.2, 8.3, 8.1. So depending on when you're watching this video, uh, where the PHP version history is at, at this point, you'll have different options here. But this is the general principle in how you'd actually upgrade the PHP version uh, for your WordPress website. So hopefully this video has been useful for you. I've been Matt Crawford. This has been how to actually upgrade the PHP version for your WordPress website. Mm -hmm.